Hey y'all. Oh child, it is hot. Look at all this hair. What's going on, girl? We'll get her together soon. Um, as you can see, a bunch of foolery behind me. I went to the grocery store, went to Walmart. Now, Walmart is getting on my nerves. First of all, I go to Walmart real early, like before nine o'clock. I get there early because I don't want nobody messing with me. Plus, it's hot, y'all. It's hot. Meaning, today, I think it's going to be like a high of 111. Yes. One, one, one. What, what sign? That's three. What does that mean, girl? Divine entry. I don't know. Shit, but it's hot. So, I got there early to get my grocery shop. I might go there. I get there early anyway. I go grocery shopping regardless early. Especially now since it's still hot. I'm going there early. But I'm trying to do a little bit better with as far as eating again, all going thing, okay? So I'm looking to start cooking with either avocado or grapeseed oil. Why well, weren't tripping? They only have one type of grapeseed oil and like 30 olive oils. So apparently olive oil, and I've read this read this a while back with olive oil. It releases a toxin at high temperature, which is why you mostly use it for um, dressings or cold. When I heard that, I was like, uh, okay, but you know, the Italians cook with it all the time. What the hell was that? Oh, the fridge. The Italians cook with it all the time, but they've been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years, so they're used to it. Our asses ain't. So I'm like, okay, sis, I understand. Um, I'm gonna fry us later on and do that. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna put, put up these groceries in a minute. It is Thursday. Um, JB is now in his second week of school. Things are going good. We're, we're back on a schedule. It was a little rough there the first few days. I had to do a little bit of backhand to get him on track. Be like, look, I'm not playing. But one thing he had been mentioning is that, excuse me, um, they don't have enough time to eat lunch. He's like, mama, the lunch time is real fast. Like, we don't have probably any time because I'm checking his lunch kit and he has all these, this food in there. I'm like, what are you doing? Why aren't you eating? Are you talking? Because Jake is an extrovert. I'm like, are you talking? Like, you need to, like, ignore your friends and eat. And then you talk to them. But he's like, no, mama, um, we don't have enough time. So I talked to a couple of other moms and they're like, my kid is complaining about the same thing. So, of course, I go to the teacher yesterday and I'm like, did the time frame, frame change for lunch or what's going on? She's like, everybody's complaining about it, but they have the same amount of time. I said, oh, are they just talking then? She's like, yeah, they're talking. But I'm like, mm, something here is not right. So, cause why are all the babies saying the same thing? So I'm just gonna roll up on there, up there uh, today for lunch. Um, pick up him a little something, pick up me something and just be like, what's going on? What's happening? You know, just figure out. I think what's happening is that for the kindergartners, they have their own playground, but for everyone else, first grade, second grade, they have this huge playground, right? So they all out there going crazy. By the time they get them all rattled up, by the time they get them to, into the cafeteria, they asses only have 10 to 15 minutes. But I'm gonna scope it out and see what's happening. Besides that, y'all, we are in mid-August, about now, everybody's kid is in school. Um, I had to cut my PTO short because work was going crazy. I, I'm not gonna complain much, I'm not gonna complain. I'm blessed to have a job, I'm blessed to have gotten a promotion earlier this year, but I had to step up in this project and basically, I'm now leading it, leading it, excuse me. I feel, I'm feeling a certain type of way by that, about that, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> we are planning a getaway in a couple more weeks. We're going to Sedona, excited about that. And I have a lot of stuff going on in the background with other companies. Um, and I know, I don't know. I don't really look at a lot of, are there really a lot of YouTubers who actually do, natural hair YouTubers who actually vlog too? I don't look at a lot of them. I know there's some that do, but I don't. But I don't really think they go into the process of sponsorships and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing because I'm, I'm transparent like that, right? So I am doing a lot more affiliations. Uh, I did one recently with Wonder Curl, another one with New Me. I wanted to call, I reviewed her uh, Scarlet products before and I love her products. She's done a rebranding. That was a while back when she rebranded her products. Wonder Curl that is. And I love the way it looks. And I, I probably want to get into trying some new ones. Um, was contacted by another well-known old school hair company to help them basically as a con as a consultant. Been working on that. Like I said, Numi does styling tools and working with them. 
I'm gonna be interviewing Miss Arlette Pender. She has a new hair care line coming out, interviewing her in a couple more days. So yeah, I have a lot of projects I'm juggling even though I'm not actively doing a lot of hair related videos. I have recorded two videos while I've been on break, okay? Um, and a, a couple of other non hair related videos. But yeah, y'all getting back into the hang of things. I should be good to go. Of course, this will be uploaded by the time I get back, but yeah still while i'm on break it's still busy and so i took a break at the right time um my best friend is trying to come down here in october so excited for her to come down she's been really stressful at home so i'm excited to see her um i went ahead and took off in october because they have a dang on fall break child i've decided i spoke to my husband about this hold on y'all let me take some of this cbd oil i recommend lazarus naturals for cbd oil there are so many different benefits when it comes to CBD oil, and there's so many kind, but this one right here, besides Bluebird Botanicals, this one's it for me. Woo, the bottom of that is getting potent. Anyway, um, I took off, and so what my husband and I have decided to do, when JB takes off, one of us need to take off a couple of days so he's not driving us crazy, and he will be going to a camp or something simultaneously, you know, a few days out of the week. I think I've talked about this before, but whatever, girl. Um, so y'all, that's about it. I'm not responding. You know what? Typically, I'd be responding to comments and stuff. I'm not responding hardly to any comments. You know, people are going crazy on that rice water journey video. Tell me what I should have, could have done. Girl, why don't you make your own video? <laughs> I mean... I really do appreciate the feedback, but at this moment, I'm not interested in anything. But I, I think a lot of the, you know, comments are great because that way others who are interested in doing rice water can read that and adjust, you know, the regimen for themselves. But for me, right, girl, now, now, now. So right now, right now, our hair grows up, but eventually, once you get some length, it'll grow down. So why does our hair grow up? Because it's magic. That's right, baby. We have magical hair. Hey, 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 y'all. It's gonna be, lights gonna be all up on me, girl. So, look at my hair, y'all. This is a wash and go. I always, I told you, I always get the banging wash and go. I'm not doing no dang on videos. This is a three day wash and go. And this was from using Echo Styler Red Top with, I'm looking at my products, the Talia YG Curl Cream. Yes. So y'all, we are in mid-August. I'm gonna give y'all an update on all the foolery that's been going on. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all. Two vlogs ago, and hopefully by the time I load this up, I would have been caught up on vlogging because I'm literally going to be posting these back to back. So first of all, I had to cut my PTO short. And when I tell you I was pissed off to the highest level of passivity, I was so upset because that, that was cutting into my family time, y'all. Um, and when I tell you, I worked all Tuesday, all day Tuesday, which can be very draining when you work from home. Um, I mean, it, like I said, it, working from home has its pros and cons. One of the cons is that you find yourself working all the time, which is why it's so important. I have a separate video on this, on working from home, tips from working from home. It is so important to have a set schedule especially if you're like me you work for a company that is global i mean i start work at 4 a.m i don't have to but i'm able to get up and get a lot of stuff done before the people here in the state start work start uh waking up and bothering me hell so i worked when i tell you i i put in like 12 or 13 hours on tuesday i was chow um but i was able to get a lot done within that time frame um and today is Friday, okay? It's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. So, yeah, it should be, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, enough of that. Um, yesterday, JB had been coming home every other day with a lot of food in his backpack. I don't know, what, what, why are all these groceries here? What's going on? So, he's like, oh, mama, we don't have enough time to eat. Like, I literally only have time to, like, eat um, some chips, and that's it. So, I'm like, okay. Let me see what's going on. It was chaotic. That's the problem. See, with the kindergartners, when they were in kindergarten, they had their own little um, kindergarten playground. Because, you know, they're babies. Their own little kindergarten playground. And they had the older kids to sit there and eat with them. And that helped them out. Well, they, they big 
big kids. Now, technically, you know, they're only six years old, but with the first graders, they, um, they have the huge playground. So they're all running around. You know, that's for a good 15 minutes, for a good 15 minutes right? So it takes a lot more to, you know, get them all together. And so by the time they sit down, they're all talking to each other. It's loud as hell. When I tell you it was so loud, it felt like it was 20 birthday parties going on at the same time. I was like, what in the actual hell? And me sitting there every five minutes, I feel like every 30 seconds, um, can you open this for me? Can you open this for me? Can you help me put this? So I think the problem is, is that they're not used to that. Okay. They have to be a little bit more independent is, is very chaotic. I will say that. And a lot of them couldn't even get their food together. So by the time they get all that, they calm down from the high of being outside and playing. They really, it feels like they only have 10 minutes, but really they didn't. But girl, look, I can stop laughing because the kids like me. Y'all know, know how I feel about kids. Hell. At this age, it's okay because they're babies. But when I get there, they all, especially the ones that know me, they flock to me. They want to sit next to me. They don't, they don't even care about JB. They want to sit next to me, right? So one little girl, she's sitting next, next to me. Um, and she, she's not in his class now, but she's from his kindergarten and she's like, she looked at me cause my hair was like this. I mean, my face was beat, but my hair was out and lovely. Right? It was a little bit more uniform, but you know, so she's like, she's like, your hair is really wild. I said, no, it's not. She said, yeah, yeah, it's really wild. I said, you know what? I have the best hair ever. I said, matter of fact, this is what the original man looked like. She looked at me. She's like, oh, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I said, do you want to touch it? She touched it. She said, oh, wow. Her face went when, I think when a lot of people who are not black, oh, let me just say it, a lot of white people look at our hair and assume it's hard because it's a little stiff, but my hair is fluffy. Um, they assume that our hair is hard. So whenever I give someone the pleasure of touching my hair, first of all, I don't let people touch my head. I don't want your, I don't know, I don't need that energy transferring into my scalp. I call me you know a little bit paranoid a little bit crazy but i do believe in you know energy transfer especially when it comes to my scalp so i don't let people touch my scalp but she could i said you can touch this she said, she's like oh it's so soft i'm like yeah now you need to go home and tell your mama that you touch a magical creature <laughs> so, y'all yeah, yeah, heard yeah i saw the clip earlier of jv i'm telling y'all i i built him up i let him know our hair grows up upwards as antennas because we are magical okay we are magical beings right so anyway y'all enough of that so mid august like i said one up there jb's doing good jb still does not he does not like school jb is a free spirit he does good in school he does well let me say he does well in school but everyone keeps asking me and i am i am i don't sugarcoat anything so whenever the moms are like so how's jb doing does he like school i said no he does not like school. I said he loves to learn, but he does not like school structure. They're like, oh, well maybe he'll, you know, I was like, no, he probably won't ever. I feel like my child will probably never like school structure. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was just really busy over the summertime with all of the household projects. I mean, it was one thing after another thing after another thing. And then this man tells me earlier this week, he's like, by the way, I ordered a ceiling fan and they're going to have it installed today. I'm like, so the ceiling fan comes in <coughs> on Wednesday, right? And I'm looking at it. It's like a round thing. It, it looks like this, but shorter. It, it looks like this. I'm like, what the hell? I said, where are the blades at? I'm talking about, I said, where are the blades at? And he starts laughing. He's like, you need to get up with, te with technology. I'm like, damn technology, where are the blades? And he's like, uh, it's the fan is in the middle of the actual ceiling fan. Y'all, I'm looking at this thing. I, you would have thought I was 75 years old the way I was looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it with my, with my hand on my hip. Just like, I'm like, I don't know how, I don't know how this is going to work. But the only thing I don't like is that it's, it's silver. And I would have preferred for it to be bronze or brass. You know what I mean? But it's silver. But it is what it is. Um, So that's going to happen today. I'm going to go have some routine blood work done later on. Just routine, routine stuff that my doctor ordered. Um, I made an appointment. Girl, it's out of a Safeway. I'm like, is that? I would never shop at that Safeway. There is a lab inside of the actual, that's nasty as hell. I would never shop in that Safeway. Not for food, not for stuff I have to put in my body. But oh yeah, I go get my blood taken. Ain't that something? Weird. But those of you who don't know, uh, who are not here from here, 
or in this area, Safeway is a grocery store. So there is a medical facility where they actually draw bodily fluids from your body inside of a grocery store. I think that is nasty as hell. Is that does that even meet code? I feel like that mean, that just violated a bunch of codes. Y'all know I'm just crazy. <laughs> so I probably am repeating myself, and I do apologize. The reason the reason why I repeat myself, you guys, is that a lot of the times I take out I take out so much footage. By the time I upload this, I only watch my videos twice. I watch it once before I upload it to YouTube and I watch it one, one more time. And I have so much going on that I can't remember. So that's my justification if I repeat. <laughs> y'all doing hopefully with this vlog i will be up to date um because i'm gonna push out so that we are keeping on track I'm, a, I'm i basically girl get to the point i want my vlogs to be within a week of each other so like what i'm saying now should be pushed out within a week or two i may have to do double triple on some days of the vlogs to catch ourselves up but it is towards the end of august y'all i can't believe it is it in the office yeah, we're getting towards the end of August and today is Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. So y'all have a lot going on. We're going on though. I got a lot going on today. We're going to go drop off a card for my friend, my best friend. She hasn't she's been having a rough time, y'all. And I wanted to send her a card just to let her know that she is loved. And I still do that. You know, I'm the type that does send out cards for birthdays and um not all the time let me just keep it real not all the time but for this particular time because she's she's struggling it's my best friend i am going to do that hold on y'all let me add this this um holder sorry y'all yeah we have a couple of errands to run this morning i need to drop that off and drop by uh go to my bank go to my credit union go to walmart to return to clothes what the hell is that oh it's a bird going y'all that scared me is that a bird or what is that something's climbing up the tree yeah, I know I'm extra. So basically hitting up about four or five places. And why the hell is it already 102 degrees right now in Phoenix? So I want to get out before it gets too, too, too hot. But yeah, we'll probably stop by Starbucks because I got paid today. Well, let me back up. I got paid for my first consultation as a, I don't know what you want to call it, as a content creator. Now, um, this was a little different. It wasn't necessarily a review. It was consultation work services yes I provided services to a company and I was really happy about that and I I charged a fee and I got compensated accordingly so now I am definitely and I think um not everyone knows but typically when you do a sponsor you are paid um but for the first years I was not paid first of all I was such a small youtuber they're like here's a free product but now I have the platform I'm over 20,000 subscribers even then even when I was at 10,000 subscribers I should have been charging um, but now I have those numbers to back it up and the quality content to back it up and say hey first of all you going to send me the stuff for free one two this is what I'm going this is my fee for reviewing um, your product and this is what comes with that you know what I mean so I'm happy that I feel confident enough to do that so yes I have a couple of projects coming on on which I will be charging for amen amen God is good yeah he really is God is so good let me tell you 
we already know God is so good. Especially right now when there are so many people dying, y'all. When I tell you there are people dropping at the dime, drop, dropping like this. And we know it, you know it. I'm pretty sure y'all have people that you know who have unfortunately passed away. When I tell you, if you are breathing today, whatever you are going through, if you have the breath of life, you are so blessed. Just, that right there is a blessing. Go there, and that's it, y'all. I don't plan on being out too long. Now, my husband, y'all know how it is with these men. I told y'all once before in one of my other vlogs, we getting on my nerves. This man bought a ceiling fan that said outdoor, indoor ceiling fan. Now, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? Outdoor, indoor. It means that you can use it for both. But in my opinion, when something is, is outdoor, it is outdoor. As soon as you put outdoor in there, you don't need to bring that inside the house. So he purchased this ceiling fan. First of all, it didn't have any blades. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, where, the, where are the blades at? He's like, if your country has to... <laughs> He said, if your country ass don't look on Home Depot and look at modern technology, I said, okay, but where are the blades at? So it doesn't have a blade. It has a fan. It's a fan. So, of course, since it's a fan and it's in all this metal, it makes noise, y'all. When I tell you this thing has been disrupting our sleep, so today he's having someone to come over to take that down. He has another one with blades. So, yesterday he told me, he said, I guess the blades are back. I said, I guess so. Mm. Y'all, I have learned, and I know some of you who are married, girl, pick your battles, baby. I pick my battles. I, I've gotten to the point where I don't even say anything. When, when something happens and I know that shit ain't going, excuse me, if something, when something happens and I already know it ain't going to work, I don't even say anything. I just be like, um, mm. okay. All right, you guys, I am out and about. So let me show y'all what I got. I'm going to show y'all what I got from Ross. I couldn't find nothing to wear, but I did find something. Oh, yes, yeah, she found something. Um, so right now I'm in the front of Pizza Hut because I ordered me a little personal pan pizza. It's like $6 and some change. Pick that up. We're going to go to Albertsons. We're going to mail off this letter. And I'm going to show you what I got from Ross. Take my butt home because my husband thinks he wants me to carry back some ceiling fan. Child, look, you see what I'm talking about? You ordered the ceiling fan and you want me to take it back. But you know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll oblige. I'll oblige. Is that how you say it? I don't, I don't know, girl. I'll do it. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated. But I will do it, okay? As a wife, as a spouse, regardless, sometimes we do things that we just don't want to do. It is what it is, girl. All right, y'all. Because we are greedy. We are at Wendy's. I don't eat Wendy's, but I do drink that lemonade. Mm. Y'all, you know why I stopped that? To try this foolery? Is it hard? Popeyes. Let me see. It's not that hard. Can't be so picky. Now bite the middle of it. Bite the middle of it. Bite the middle of it. Bite it. Yeah. How does it taste? You wanna try the chocolate chip one? You're wasting cookies everywhere. You know this child. I need to be getting into my chicken. So anyway, of course, Popeye's sell and sold out of that ratchet chicken sandwich. Yo, this one's softer. Here. This one's soft. Here, napkin. It's falling apart. Go ahead, baby. It's falling apart, yeah. Yeah, let me pull my seat back. Tastes the same. It tastes the same? You don't like it? It, it actually tastes the same. That cookie is good. What's wrong with you? Well, drink your frosty, baby. Mm. I love frosty. You like the frosties? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I have never I had. Pop. Yeah, you don't need no cookie then. I have never had um this Monte Gras mustard from Popeyes. Never pepper. Mm. Mm. Y'all know how we do it. Let me get into this Monte Gras mustard. This lemonade is so good from um. Um, Wendy's they have strawberry they have like four different flavors you want some baby yeah 
Jamie's not hungry. That's why he's having a frosting. I am hungry. Let me get into this chicken and this Mardi Gras. I got spicy. Yeah, y'all, they sold out. Well, <clears throat> this area is predominantly white and Mexican. Okay. Mardi Gras mustard. Spoon. Oh, that's Dijon based. What? Dijon. What's Dijon? I don't like that. John, you don't like Dijon? I like Dijon, but I don't like it with my dang on chicken. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, it's painting. Mm, I love you. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Did y'all hear him? Is it why is he so unlucky? Why do you think he's unlucky? Be sweaty and pink. So, after this, we're gonna head to downtown Phoenix. Y'all have to excuse the camera if it's moving. Is it moving? The car's on because it is, it's only 94 now. I should have gotten just a chicken. <laughs> All right, y'all, one more crunch. One more and we crunch. gotta go. Mmm. My favorite piece of the chicken is wings. You, wings? Mm-hmm. Does it taste the best? Of course it does. <laughs> mm-hmm. You rat chicken in <laughs> Woo! Y'all. Yes, Miss, um... I haven't seen you uh, post in a while, Miss Marlene G. I do. She posted on one of my. I don't know what she posted when that I eat relatively healthy. Honestly, I do. Excuse me, because because I ate that. I will be drinking a bunch of water because that's a lot of sodium in that fried chicken. And um, tonight I'll probably have nothing but veggies. Tomorrow I'll have veggie. And I'm making potato corn soup. Let's jump into this cookie that JB don't like. Why did she even ask me? She's like, do you want some chocolate chip? You want some cookies? I said, y'all sell cookies? She said, yeah, they're three, three for three. And then warm them up. JB doesn't like it. They're, they're so disgusting. They're not, they're not. Why are you making that face?
let's let it focus. Is it focusing? There you go. Back from the nail shop. Y'all look how bright my nails are. You really can't even see that. They're very, very bright. Now, you see how bright they are? Very cute though, huh? Very, very bright. Uh, I normally don't get my nails this bright. Girl, who am I selling? Who am I lying to? I get my nails all types of colors because if I put it like this, if I was going into my office more, I would be more neutral. Um, but since I don't care, I'm at home looking fine, I'm gonna get my nails bright, as bright as I want. I think they're cute, they're flashy just like me. All right, y'all, we have about 30 minutes before I have to go pick a baby from, um, JB Wavy from school. I'm gonna go over here to Staples to pick up my print out, to pick up my print out. Uh, let me run to Starbucks and use their bathroom first though. Um, I have printed out some cursive writing sheets for JB. Let me turn down the air. I'm gonna teach my baby how to write cursive. He showed some interest. And so we're gonna be working on cursive writing for him. I think this is good to know because from what I understand, they don't even teach that anymore in school. So yeah, we're gonna teach him cursive writing in addition to what he's learning. Yeah, let me go use the bathroom, girl. I got real quick at Staples some cute stuff. I got this phone case I for my iPhone. Isn't that cute? I don't know if these are lemons or melons. I think they're supposed to be lemons. Very cute. And then I got a bedazzled phone mirror, 46 cents. Then I got some planner accessories. I gotta go pick up the baby. Good vibes only, weekend adventures, and it's some blank notebook paper. It comes with stickers, a folder, praise God, sure is, and a pen. All this together costs less than 10, 10 bucks. Clearance section at Staples. All right, let me go pick up the baby. We may go to the Chick-fil-A, depends on my mood. Y'all, I'm, I'm perturbed, excuse me, I'm perturbed because, bite my lip, because Chick-fil-A no longer sells this, it's called the Katina. Catalina Cortina something. It's basically a dressing and it's one of their uh, dressings that have very low calories and it's also vegan. Well, it was vegan. Not that I'm vegan, but I really try to watch it when I eat out. Um, and at Chick-fil-A, I've been eating their veggie wraps. You could, it's on a secret menu. You could basically get the chicken wrap and you can get beans and corn on it. Um, and it's thebomb.com. That's vegetarian. It's not vegan because there is cheese on it. So good with that um, sauce, but they don't sell anymore and all the other sauces are high in sodium and, and calorie So I don't know girl. I may still get it that chicken sandwich sound good too I still have not tried that Popeye's chicken sandwich and I'm not going to that chicken sandwich has so much sodium and calories y'all It's not even funny. It really take isn't. your time with it Take your time then put it put it on. We're not gonna leave anytime soon y'all it is Saturday and I've been up since six o'clock. I'm this close to like, I'm just over it. I've been up since six o'clock. It's the day before Wanda's birthday party and my oven is not working. When I tell you I am done, I, I, I knew something was off. First of all, one of the eyes always overheats and I've been telling my husband there's something wrong with the oven and he doesn't believe me, okay? Two months later, tried to use the oven two days ago. I tried to cook a pizza, pizza, and it didn't work. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? The temperature kept going down. But since then, I've been making cookies. Granted, cookies only take 10 or 15 minutes to, to cook, right? They're okay. I have brownies in the oven and the cake in the oven. The brownies have been in the oven for an hour and they're still not done. The temperature goes all the way up and then drops down to 200. So what happens when you do that, you're not getting enough circulation and the cake is gonna be unevenly cooked. I have sent a frantic text message to my neighbors. It's eight o'clock, it's a Saturday, they're not up. Thankfully, her birthday party is not to tomorrow. I'm gonna ask them if I can use their ovens to cook all four desserts. I'm not gonna go to her. Um, Four? Yeah, I'm not going to her. Her what's the name then for if I'm doing this? I'm not going to the. I'm not going to Papa Do's today because I could spend all day at other people's house making her desserts. Either that or I don't make all her desserts. You know, so y'all hot as mess. I'm so upset because now I have to go back to the store and buy all these ingredients again. Granted, brownie mix is only a dollar, but this is still an extra. 10, 15 dollars I have to make on the ingredients that were wasted. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for my neighbors to get up. As soon as they get up, we're gonna go over there and you can bake 
stuff multiple you know multiple items at the same time i honestly think the brownies will be okay if i leave them in the oven but that cake is a no-go Y'all, hey, 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 I am tired, girl, because it's 6 o'clock in the morning, the day of my friend's party, and um, I just showed y'all real quick the desserts. Now, the desserts aren't perfect, y'all. I'm a perfectionist. My my friend loves them. I sent her pictures of everything. My friend loves them. My best friend said they're, they're cute. But since I'm a perfectionist, I see the imperfections in them. But this is the best I could do, considering I didn't have an oven. So yesterday I was able to use my neighbor's oven, literally running back and forth between our house and their house. They live just right across the street, right? But still, you know, um, I was over there, over there for about, not long, um, did everything in two hours, which is really good to do three desserts in two hours, but baby, yeah. So I have still one more dessert to make. I know y'all. One more dessert to make, and I'm gonna make that over her house. I sorry, sorry y'all, the lighting is a little, anyway. I'm gonna make that over her house. They're, it's very simple, they're lemon blossoms, and I'll try to record a little bit there. I don't really like to get a lot of people. If they don't know me, I don't like to put people on cam, but I'll do a slow pan. Um, so yeah, and since I'm going over to her house a little bit early, that means I'm gonna leave her house early, you know? Um, she lives about 30 minutes away, so it's not too, too, too bad. The party starts at four, but I'm gonna get there at three to do the the, the last desserts and my hair. Look, y'all, I'm country. I do not, not necessarily country. I'm a little bit more professional when it comes to when I cook stuff, I keep my hair up. Cause I have so much hair, I don't need shedded hair or whatever to be following me to the damn cupcakes. So yeah, I'll unravel my hair and do and style it while I'm there. Um, the party starts at four. I'll probably leave it like 5.30. So yeah, I'll be there for an hour and a half for the party. Go ahead and cancel that. I found a couple of people on Craigslist. I'm gonna see if they're open today. You know, these are people at home. See if I can call them today to see if they can come by next week um, and cancel this $79. Get like a, someone, a handyman on Craigslist to look at this. Cause thankfully the stove top is working. And honestly, I don't use my oven a lot, y'all. I probably use the oven once every other week, which is good, you know, which is, you know, I'm not too frantic about it, but it's so funny. First of all, let me tell you this real quick. My husband wasn't believing me. He kept asking me, are you making sure that it was all the way up? Did you accidentally turn it off? I'm like, no, I've been cooking since I was 13 years old. I know what 365 is supposed to feel like in the oven, right? So even JB was like, oh mama, remember when we tried to make those cookies and the inside wasn't done? I said, you absolutely right, JB. I forgot all about it. I said, thank you for coming through for mama. <laughs> he had my back, y'all. So anyway, I'm gonna fix me some tea, sit my butt down, read me some book. And I'm gonna get a cupcake after Oh yeah? <laughs> Yeah, he was swimming. He did. I want to thank everybody for coming over and celebrating, and all those who helped, Quita, Miss Debbie. party it is late it's like 10 o'clock and we just got back and um we had such a good time look but girl black people oh, let me sit down y'all on my clothes because i'm tired oh child <laughs> black folks party starts at four o'clock right um 5 30 they're still not done cooking the food so i'm like 
because I told my husband I would be back be back by 6 30 but 5 30 they're still not cooking the food so I'm like you know what let me go get JB because I saw other kids were there so I went to go get JB came back around 6 20 and the food was finally done um and we stayed until nine o'clock yeah child oh lord have mercy but we had such a good time y'all um I, you know what i love my friend to death it's really really hard to have to sustain friendships and she's so sweet she she told me i don't know she's told me this before she said vivian i'm gonna try so hard not to cry y'all mind you i've had a drink or two um she's like you know vivian i always bring you up as examples in my class because she's a professor i always bring you up um as examples in my class when it comes to loyalty because you are a very loyal friend i'm like oh. i was like girl thank you so much y'all i ride for my friends y'all i can count how many friends i have on one hand close friends and she's one of them and when i tell you i will ride or die for my friends i'm very loyal to my friends um i would do just about anything for my friends like seriously um and she's one of those so i was so nervous about my desserts especially when i saw the amount of people were there and so i kept coming going back and forth looking at the desserts um and i didn't show everything but i had the brownies there the lemon drops the cupcakes and of course the cake chow when i tell you <laughs> The brownies were gone like that the cupcakes were gone the lemon drops i made three dozen yeah do the math three or three and a half dozen of the mini muffins gone half the cake was gone people were taking the cake home that cake was so damn moist and good that cake was so good y'all and i i'm proud of myself because I missed, I didn't say, I shouldn't say I missed. I didn't use all the ingredients I wanted to. Again, I'm a perfectionist. I didn't use all the ingredients I had wanted to for that particular cake, but it was damn. You know, it's, I'm so petty. I'm walking around talking to random people. I'm like, did you try that cake? Look, this is me. I'm like, did you try that cake? Because that cake, that cake was good. And the other person's like, yeah, that cake was really good. I don't know who made that cake. I said, I don't know either. Whoever made that cake, but they foot in that cake. So, I know, I did that with like two or three people. And they were like, oh, that cake was good. And then her friend came up to me, Jason. He was like, Vivian, that cake is good. He's like, well, look, it's a little sweet. It's a little sweet. Now, I'm getting up there, but it is good. I'm like, you, you from Shreveport, Louisiana. You should be good with this damn cake. Tell me it's too sweet for you, child. But, yeah, it, it was a good time, y'all. I had such a blast. I had to drag JB out of there because we live about 45 minutes she lives all the way in Awatuki, and we live a good 40, 45 minutes away. So, yeah. Home. I'm going to wash my face, take off my glasses, and I am going to bed. I'm so tired. I had such a good time, but I am tired, y'all. Yeah, I'm done. So, all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.